interrupt our regularly scheduled programming for a Channel 3 special report. Good evening. I'm David Barrows. Jonathan Shaw is on assignment. We apologize for our earlier coverage of the so-called Madison race riots. Reports coming in now indicate the violence is neither racially motivated nor restricted to the greater Madison area. What is certain is that this seemingly unexplainable mass hysteria continues to spread throughout the heartland with injuries reported to be in the thousands. We now go live to Catherine Lanfear at St. Augustine Memorial Hospital. Catherine. David, the staff here says they haven't seen anything close to the sheer volume of casualties. Badly injured, very frightened people are pouring in no exaggeration by the hundreds and we're told that most of the injuries are bites not gunshot or stab wounds as we were led to believe earlier just a few minutes ago we spoke with one of the doctors that has been on call since this morning when the patients arrived we have seen cases of complete digit finger extraction deep throat laceration even a large section of flesh torn away as if by a rabid dog or wild animal. We've been told by nurses there have been complications. Almost all wounds have shown immediate infection. Uh, many have went into toxic shock. Uh, one patient... Have there been fatalities? Uh, uh, excuse me, please. I'm sorry, I have to go. I was coming home from work, and I saw this woman in the road, and she was moaning or something, so I... I went out to go see. I thought she got hit by a car or some, something like that. And I went to go reach out to help her. And she bit me in the arm, scratched up my face, and I just took off. And Doctors are still at a loss as to the reason behind these attacks. And the situation doesn't seem to be improving. In the past few minutes, I've seen four ambulances and several cars pull up with victims seeking emergency care. Whatever's going on, it seems to be far from over. David. Thank you, Catherine. And speculation seems to surround the origin of this phenomenon. And theories include an airborne plague, a toxic chemical spill, bioterrorism, and even a spaceborne virus. And viewers should be advised that there is no official explanation as of yet. Teams from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Center for Disease Control, and Office of Emergency Preparedness have been dispatched to Chicago, Madison, and the Twin Cities. While martial law has not been declared, the governors of all three states are encouraging citizens to remain calm and stay at home for the present. We've had no official response from the White House, but it can be confirmed that the president is considering returning from his fishing trip at Jackson Hole. More on the situation as it develops. Doctors still appear to be baffled by this new so-called super flu. They're still unsure of exactly how it spreads, and with it reaching near epidemic proportions, the quarantine was enacted and enforced by the National Guard early this morning. Armed troops are not allowing visitors in or letting employees out. As you can see down there, hundreds have gathered at the hospital's entrance, some wanting to see loved ones, but most simply demanding medical attention. Residents are shocked that such a strict quarantine was enacted over something like a flu with symptoms such as nausea, fever, chills, disorientation, and in extreme cases, reporting catatonic states and delusional, aggressive behavior. People have been trying anything for some sort of relief. Drug stores are sold out as of now of a cold medication. There's still no more flu shots available. Hospitals are working well beyond capacity. Doctors still unsure as to what has caused the infection and do not believe it's even related to the flu. Initial reports of recently deceased patients coming back to life have been dismissed as, quote, absurd rumors, end quote. Uh I've now been told this is now a restricted airspace, we, so we will have to uh, cut our, our coverage short. We, oh God. They're firing into the crowd. It, it appears they're firing into the crowd.
millions of germs. And most people don't practice good dental hygiene. So naturally, any bite is going to become infected, no matter from whom. These people don't have some sort of uh, voodoo hoodoo disease. Yes, but Dr. Collar, how do Look, David, what you fail to realize is that most of these so-called experts are looking in the wrong direction. The problem is not chemical or biological, it's psychological. What we're witnessing here is the spontaneous combustion of a pent-up rage uh, fueled by frustration over um, a pressurized society. It's the snapped postal worker on a national level. Well, how can you explain that the- Look, in my new book, U.S. A-bomb. Look, I'm sorry, we have to cut summer. away right now. I'm I just being informed that both Istanbul and New Delhi are reporting sporadic outbreaks of violence, similar to those here at home. And clearly, this is no longer an American... We're just getting a picture from our BBC correspondent. Over to Trevor Hanna in London. Trevor? We're in Notting Hill, a part of London. Who knows if this report will ever be transmitted. Uh, communication is at best limited. limited. The city, it seems, is being overrun with man-eating creatures. creatures. And they're coming. Run. Run. Like most stations, we're experiencing technical problems with our satellite connection, but we'll try and follow this situation and bring you up-to-date information from the other side of the globe as it comes. The president wants to make it perfectly clear that this is not a case of bioterrorism. No such agents exist in the arsenal of any nation or known terrorist group. He also wants to stress the need for calm and the respect for law and order. The quicker people can get off the streets and into their homes, the quicker the appropriate federal and state agencies can reach these troubled areas. Although a further call-up of reservists is on the table, our current overseas military assets will remain in place to reassure our allies that this is a minor, containable situation that we expect to see fully resolved in 24 hours or less. Again, that was Press Secretary William Kaplan with the first official statement from the White House a little over 30 minutes ago, stressing calm and what he assures us is a fully containable situation. Hey, Reno reporting live from Homestead, where tragedy befell an immigrant family. An unidentified man has shot his wife and 16-year-old son to death before turning the gun on himself. Jesus. What? I don't believe this. What? Is there something with the camera? Just fix it. She's, she's still moving. Oh, for Christ's sake, Brody. I'm right in the middle of a what? What? Jesus fucking Christ. For God's sake. Hey, hey. I thought they were dead. They're supposed to be. They are. I don't know. She's moving on the freaking gurney, man. Get out of the way. Come on. Get out of the way. There's a backup here. Who? Get out of here. Are you all right? Jesus. What the fuck is that? Just keep still. The other one's moving. Take him out! He's not going down! He's not going down! Holy shit! This can't be fucking happening! I've just received word from my producers that a tape showing one of these random attacks has been dropped off at our studio. I'm being told that the tape contains graphic, material, and violence. The viewers should be advised. Hey! Get away from us! Stop hitting her! What are you doing? I'll show you! Uh, yeah, uh...
We, uh, we have some startling information from Fran Parker, live at the Hammond County Medical Examiner's Office. Fran, what I'm about to show you is one of the most horrific. Stand back, and I told you, please keep your distance. You can see how dangerous it is. No person has survived this disease. And I can assure you that every victim that has come into this hospital has turned out just like this. They have died on the table. Okay. What has happened, what has happened though, is that they have actually come back from the dead. So you're telling me this man has come back to life? I know it sounds absolutely impossible, but what we're talking about here is reanimation, but of dead matter. Look at this one that I was given an autopsy to. During the whole autopsy, he never stopped moving. And I took out his heart and half his digestive tract. Oh what I'm god. trying to tell you is, oh my god, the dead are walking. That's all I can say. Well, how are people supposed to protect themselves, doctor? This is the most contagious disease I've ever seen. What I would say, and I'm warning you, everybody, do not, do not come in contact with with any of these, these zombies. And there you have it, David. The dead are alive, and there's no cure, and there's no explanation, and there's no nothing. Oh my God! David, cut away! Cut away! Cut away! Get away from me! It's clearly, uh, <coughs> it's a, it's clearly a shocking development unfolding. You're gonna want to, uh, you're gonna want to keep it locked in here. You stay with us all night. We now have word on the situation in New York. All bridges and tunnels to Manhattan are being destroyed, and a barrier of Coast Guard craft is taking up position around the island. We don't know, however, if this is to keep people from getting in or getting out. We should have footage from New York shortly. At this time, no comment has been made. They have, however, created a temporary barbed wire fence around the entrance of the building. John, there seems to be something frantically trying to get out of there. I need backup to the rear door now. Stay back. Jesus, I've got a victim back here. I need a medic to the back door right now. Looks like severe lacerations. Hey, get back! Get back! Look, just stay calm. I'm coming in. I called a medic. They're on their way up here. Okay? Katie, what is going on? Can you describe what's happening? <laughs> What the f oh my gosh, um, oh, an officer has gone in the building and I do not know what is going on as of right now. Stay here, I'm gonna get a better look. Katie? Yeah? I think we should go. Katie, hold on! Don't let go! Oh god! Get away! What the f***? No! at me point it at me just just roll okay things are out of control down below the city of los angeles is like a war zone these these creatures these zombies or whatever the hell they are are swarming the city people are dying in the streets by the thousands and the freeways right now the freeways are hopelessly clogged there is no way out of the city we had to come up here into the hollywood hills just to find some refuge i think we're safe for the moment but i'm not going to stay long Right now, the LAPD has pulled out of South Central Los Angeles entirely and is trying to form a defensive perimeter around Beverly Hills. But I don't know how they're going to stop these things. If you're hearing me, stay away from Los Angeles. The city is out of control. The city is lost. Avoid Los Angeles at all costs. 
I'm sorry, we, we had to cut away. We need to go now live to the White House press room for an emergency military briefing. The state of emergency has been declared in the United States of America, including all overseas dependencies and the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. We face, we, uh, for reasons yet to be determined, the bodies of the recently deceased are returning to life and attacking the living. The scope of this ec epidemic is now reaching global proportions. The President has sent to Congress a package of initiatives which will be explained by the Secretary of Defense, Mr. Martin Emery. Mr. Secretary. As of 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the President has declared the continental United States under martial law. A nationwide curfew of 7 p.m. tonight has been put into effect, and any citizen caught outdoors between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. is subject to arrest and detention without counsel. All reserve military personnel and National Guard are ordered to report for immediate deployment. All law enforcement, firefighting, and emergency personnel will be federalized effective immediately. All communications facilities, including the use of landline and cellular telephone facilities, will be reserved for military and rescue operations. In order to halt the spread of this contagion, our nation's borders to Canada and Mexico have been sealed. No longer seek shelter in private residences, no matter how safely protected or well stocked. Retain all ownership records of private property, but do not attempt to transport or defend said property. Rest assured, looters will be prosecuted with deadly force, as will any attempts at vigilanteism or secessionist political activity. No questions. Uh, that was the uh, Secretary of Defense with the, the announcement that the dead are somehow coming back to life. And uh, I... Uh, I, uh, I've got, uh, do we have those uh, rescue stations yet? Well, find them, please. I need, I need, uh, I need those rescue stations. But fine. You know what? Fine. I'll get them. Oh. Yes, in that the circulatory, respiratory, and other vital functions have terminated, these subjects are technically deceased. Please just let me get through this and then I'll take questions. The infection is spread through direct fluidic contact. It must enter through the bloodstream through an open wound. Infection duration depends on the size of the wound and its proximity to a major blood vessel. Reanimation will occur no later than one to five minutes after the victim's primary life functions have expired. Once reanimation has occurred, the subject will respond with immediate homicidal aggression. Current estimate in the U.S. puts the number of dead at over 10 million, but this is many would consider a wildly conservative estimate. Regarding the entire world, I, I can't even begin to give you a number. One bright spot to report, we, we now have a tape of what to do if you should find yourself assaulted by a reanimate. Can we roll that? Five, four, three, Kurt! He's up! One! He's up! Ladies and gentlemen, in the background, Brett will now demonstrate on an actual Romeo Lima Foxtrot both hard and soft points. Brett, go ahead. If you're going to shoot him, if you shoot him in the head, it'll slow him down, it'll bring him to his Stay knees him, and get right back up. You shoot him in the chest, that will watch him, Brett. That'll watch slow him down, but he'll still come back. There's only watch one him. place to deal with this monster. You shoot him in the head, right in the head, between the eyes. Watch That's how you get him. Watch him, Brett. Stay on him. Стреляй, товарищ командир, стреляй! Стреляй, товарищ командир, стреляй! Его поймали! 
И уже взяли Я вышел из здания. Стреляю, товарищ командир. Это твой Держи его, держи его. Господи, мне это что не нравится. Будет там отсюда. Пятняга пропал. Пятняга на базу. Лукас, мы на Да, мы еще на It's been confirmed from several sources that the destruction of Shanghai and Hong Kong were the result of thermonuclear explosions. Whether set by the Chinese government, a rogue faction of the Chinese military, or the Russian government in their promise to aggressively defend their borders is still not and may never be known. Within the next hour, we will be transferring responsibilities to the emergency broadcast system We believe, although this has not yet been confirmed, that the President and his Cabinet have already left Washington, D.C. for an undisclosed, secure location. Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. Follow the messages on screen that will be updated as information becomes available. Do not attempt to approach or apprehend these bodies as they are considered extremely dangerous. I repeat, civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. Follow the messages on screen that will be updated as information becomes available. Do not attempt to approach or apprehend these bodies as they are considered extremely dangerous. This warning applies to all areas receiving this broadcast. Tune in to 9.20 a.m. to get updated information in the event that you are separated from your television or if electrical service is interrupted. Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. Follow the messages on screen that will be updated as information becomes available. This station will now cease transmission, so please use your battery-powered radio tune in to 9.20 a.m. for further information. dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. Follow the messages on screen that will be updated as information.